So I remember this wall from my pre-insulation walk, and it was fairly complex. You know, a, a lot of uh, details and obstructions that the installer had to work around. The first is that I, I know this framer uses two stud corners and also laddered tees or whatever it may be to allow the insulation installer to insulate behind their framing. So I want to check to make sure that insulation is in place, and it is. Um, I also know that there is a gas line running vertically here. So I'm just going to pull this insulation back. I can see the gas line. I can also see that insulation has been placed to the exterior and to the interior so that the, the stud is uniformly filled with insulation. I have a window frame here. Again, it's well air sealed. And I remember this alarm wire runs horizontal to the wall. So I can easily pull back the insulation. I see the wire. The insulation's been split around the wire and fills the cavity. And I can easily just check to see that that's in place, and it is. Um, I also have an outlet box that's cut tight to fit. And here I have HVAC, the condensate line and the refrigerant lines coming down. And again, I'm just going to peel back. And I can see that my installer placed insulation on the exterior and the interior, filling this wall cavity. So that's in place and well done. And then they've also done their air sealing package just before the insulation went in. So they've done caulking of the studs, the top plate, the bottom plate. And looking high, uh, the band has been insulated. We checked that air sealing before the insulation went in to ensure that it was well sealed. And the insulation, again, is cut tight to fit and uh, tightly fits the framing on all four sides. So, so far, so good. This wall looks really good.